Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and today I'm looking at a product that's marketed as a non-invasive alternative to Botox and fillers and it's these anti-wrinkle silicone skin patches. Now the makers Oya sent me this all-in-one pack of patches um, for the purposes of review. I've not been paid for this review, uh, there's no financial incentive um, they sent me these purely to test out so that I could share my opinion, good or bad, with you, which is what I'm going to do. So the patches in this pack um, include one for your forehead. Uh, there's another four little um, crescent shapes for just under the eyes and around the mouth lines. There's another patch for the neck and there's a larger pack for the chest. And you peel them off a little sheet of plastic and there's a sticky side that then sticks on to your skin. The pack also comes for, with a little instruction leaflet and um, on it, it explains that you can, for instance, if you're wearing them overnight, uh, do your nightly routines, so you cleanse your skin, you can even put your moisturiser on, but you have to let it dry in properly so that the uh, patches can stick. Um, and then you just peel them off, apply them to the skin, and you want to leave them for a minimum of an hour, but ideally overnight for what they say would be longer lasting results, the longer that you leave it on. Now, the idea behind them is that they trap moisture um, between the pad and your skin, and it plumps up the skin. And um, as you would expect, I did put them to the test, so you can see the results on me in just a second. So as well as moisturising the skin, the instructions do say that the patches modulate and normalise collagen production. I mean, interpreting that, I think what it means is that it sort of optimises the conditions for collagen production, which of course we lose over time with age, we produce less and less collagen. So there is supposed to be a sort of longer lasting effect um, from regular use. So first of all, let's take a little look at what happened when I wore those patches for a couple of hours. Okay, so do not be alarmed. This is my early morning face, um, complete with, you know, this is how I wake up often with the puffiness on the eyes, but I wanted just to show you exactly what I was <laughs> targeting with the, the creases on my face. So um, I'm gonna use the patches to target these lines keen to see a difference around my eyes. Oh, I've got a little bit of aging around here and also on the chest. I don't know if you can see some creasing on the chest there as well. Now let's try the patches. So what I've done is because I've used them before, I rinsed them as per the instruction, dried them and put them all on the one sheet for ease. They arrive on separate sheets, but I've just kept them all on this one sheet. Forehead first, most important bit. I gave my face a little rinse this morning and dry, just so I have dry skin. And here we go. Forgive me for looking away. So yes, second use, that's sticking down. Probably not quite as well as first time, but you know, oh, across the top, not very well. Mm. And then these little half moon crescents go on. Let's stick them under the eyes. Now the problem I had with under the eyes before was, no, that's better. Um, oh, I suppose you could see it a little bit here. The thing with this very kind of loose lined skin under the eyes is that where, wherever you put them, it's gonna push something up. Um, you know, there's going to be a little bit of an overspill on the creased skin, which is not ideal, but anyway. These are sticking okay. And then you can do them all around the mouth. And again, this side. Okay. And lastly, you want the décolletage. Okay, there we are. Tuck it under. I mean, 
another great look from me. <laughs> right, I'm going to leave that on um, for a couple of hours, peel it off and um, see what kind of result. You know, if it's anything like before, you keep in a close eye on the forehead when I peel it off because that was the biggest result before. See you in a bit. So that's two hours up now, just a little over two hours. Um, got a little bit of loss of stick here, but they've um, stayed where they need to. I adjusted this side here. You might remember I had it over my eyebrow or was it this side? One of the sides. And that kind of rebalanced so that the top is sticking a little bit better. But I'm going to peel them off now and um, have a look at the result. Okay, so we'll do the boring bits first because um, I don't think we'll see a massive change here. Be interesting just to, once I remove them, freeze the before and after pictures next to each other to see if there actually is a difference here, which I'm just not noticing. Um, that's happened before when we've done these before and afters. Take off the eyes now. You can actually feel the moisture building up underneath. Now, that is a little issue with putting them on the eyes and I'm not sure I would put them on the eyes again for this exact reason because where you have this very kind of thin lined skin that I was talking about before, when you put these on, it seems to be impossible to avoid some kind of overspill. I mean, that looked really flat and I was worried about this area before, but what's actually happened is it's, oops, um, it's that side that has creased. So, you know, I've come out with more of a crease on my eyes. Looks fine. And you can see where the skin is a little smoother underneath. You know, and it's just trapping the moisture, really. Finally, the forehead. So, forehead is quite lined here, very much here. So let's see what kind of result we've got. Now I noticed quite a big difference on my forehead before. Yeah, and you can see that there's a smoother effect there. Now, this is going to be really difficult to show you. It's difficult with the light. It's just, I have got fine lines on the chest area. Let's tip this a little bit. You know, as with the forehead, there's bound to have been a little bit of improvement there, but that's sorry. Um, yeah, I mean, there was a little bit of creasing there, which is just ever so slightly better. Really, the big difference for me is in the forehead. And, you know, this is sort of easing itself out a little bit, you know, could be covered with makeup. You know, to my mind, this is good before you know, an event, middle of the pandemic still, so it's not like I'm going anywhere. Um, but that's certainly what I would use it for. If I was going, if I had a big night or something coming up, I would probably wear it for a couple of hours, uh, particularly on the forehead, just before I went, and maybe around the mouth as well, um, just to give me a little bit of a freshness. Makeup will go on nice and smooth. How long this lasts for, I'm not sure. So I'm going to uh, check back in with you right at the end of the day to see how my lines are looking. See you later. So you can see from that bit of footage there that the pads do indeed have an immediate plumping effect on the skin, um, which tells me that that might be very useful for using just before a big event or something like that. Not that there's too many of those right now, but as and when they do come back after this pandemic, you know, a special occasion, something like that, I could see the benefit in it. I did actually wear the forehead and chest patch overnight last night. And, you know, I had that lovely result again this morning when I peeled it off. The skin looked beautifully smooth, um, particularly my, the skin of my chest. There was no creasing whatsoever. But you could probably see um, that the lines are, you know, quite prominent again on my forehead. Um, so, you know, I haven't got a day long result um, at the time of filming is four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, so that's not a long term result that I'm getting every time that the, the skin is plumped out. But, you know, it keeps the skin soft. It's in good condition. 
um, you know, there certainly has been some benefit from wearing them. The pads are designed to be reusable and with proper care, you should be able to use them up to 15 times. So proper care means after wearing them, you rinse them under the tap with cold water and then you leave them sticky side up to dry. And um, I have used them three times and dried them and they still have a good amount of stick on them. So, you know, I could see that with good care, you could stretch them out um, for beyond 10 uses. The um, pads are made of silicon, which is generally considered to be safe, but you have to factor in from an environmental perspective uh, that when you dispose of those pads after their 15 uses or whatever, they are going into landfill. The all-in-one pack that I was sent, um, looking on the OIL website, usually costs £85. So this is an expensive product, but at the moment, at the time of filming, um, the it's been discounted to £46. I think it's an interesting product because there is that immediate result there. And if you were about to go out for a night out or something, if you wore them for an hour beforehand, it would make e uh, makeup easier to apply and so on. You know, there is an immediate benefit there and quite a nice gift to get people. But I think sort of weighing up the fact that you have to throw them out afterwards, um, that's going into landfill. I would probably look to use these maybe once a month for a special occasion. Um, you know, there's this long-term benefit that is implied on the packaging. Uh, it would be up to individuals, I think, to sort of try that out for themselves. I've dug around the reviews online. There's not many. There's a few on Trustpilot. They're very mixed. Um, you know, some people happy, some people feeling that they just uh, don't get that big a difference with it. There's a hassle factor with these pads as well, let's face it. I mean, if you were using them really regularly uh, and you'd be talking about peeling these things off in the morning um, and then washing them all down and laying them out to dry, um, you know, I think that probably tips the, this into the balance of you're going to use them less frequently. So again, looking around at different opinions on the use of um, silicon for um, helping plump up the skin, um, some skin care experts say that, yes, it does attract the moisture to your skin, uh, but um, in trapping moisture, it's also going to be trapping sweat and sebum and dirt and so on. And so, uh, you know, in some situations, people can find their skin gets congested. I have to say, having used it three times, including twice overnight, um, I haven't had any problems. I haven't had any sensitivity. I haven't had any breakouts, uh, nothing noticeable at all um, on the negative side on the skin. Factoring in the cost, um, I'm going to reserve these for occasional use. Um, there are other silicone patches out there. So what I'll do is I'll include a link to the oil website so you can have a look at the range for yourself. Um, you know, they've got different packs, some of them just focusing on single areas or multi-packs like this. Um, and I'll also link to some of the other silicon patches that are available on sites like Amazon. So uh, you can have a, a look at the range. And I hope that you found this review helpful. There are lots more like it on the channel covering lots more uh, beauty and skincare products, treatments, um, household appliances and devices. So do check them out if you get the chance. Um, I'll be back soon. And uh, if you did enjoy this video, I'd love it if you could like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.